Becky Stowe is a banker. She keeps her deposits under lock and key. This job is made for me. I grew up going in the woods with my dad and my grandfather fishing, and this is just where I should be. I love them the bottomland hardwood forest. It's, it's probably my favorite place in the world. Stowe is a new kind of wilderness advocate. She saves habitat by dealing in bank credits and real estate. She manages 17,000 acres of bottomland hardwood forest and pine savanna on Mississippi's coastal plain. It seems to me to be primeval. I like to pretend that I'm the only one that has ever seen it. But 95% of coastal Mississippi has been cut over, drained, developed, or tree farmed. The Nature Conservancy bought several tracks here, rich in plant and animal life, with the goal of preserving these islands of biodiversity and restoring them to their original natural state. Nearby, this land is being drained for a new subdivision. Under federal law, builders must mitigate the damage they do so there will be no net loss of wetlands. They can do that themselves or pay someone, like Becky Stowe, to do it for them. We're seeing a lot of plans for developments, for subdivisions, and that's changing the landscape. I hope we don't see that sort of loss of wetlands like they have in other states, and our mitigation bank is one tool to prevent that. By bundling lots of small mitigations, a land bank can buy large parcels to preserve wetlands on a bigger scale, like the 1,700 acres the Conservancy acquired in 1996. It provides habitat for endangered gopher tortoises and sandhill cranes and is next to a national wildlife refuge. These pristine coastal marshes at the mouth of the Pascagoula River are protected by the state. Eighty miles upstream, the river's headwaters are protected by the Nature Conservancy. The Pascagoula drains 10,000 square miles in 30 counties and two states. It's the largest undammed river in the lower 48. About 80,000 acres along the river have been preserved, much of it acquired through mitigation banks. When you pool your resources, you can do bigger things. The impacts on wetlands from a single project can be small, but they add up and can destroy entire watersheds. Mitigation banks can turn things around. In Colorado, the Department of Transportation created its own mitigation bank along an interstate highway in Castle Rock. It is the first habitat bank in Colorado, and it's also the first bank and one of the few in the country that was done on the basis of ecosystem restoration. Nearby housing development caused runoff to devastate this stream bed, but $2 million in mitigation work brought it back, restoring natural vegetation and critical habitat for an endangered species of mouse. In Mississippi and Colorado, land banks are working, but development pressures are relentless and sometimes mitigation banks fail. Despite their widespread use, Florida has lost 800,000 acres of wetlands in the last decade. For Assignment Earth, I'm Gary Stryker.